wrap up and my August TBR and before I wasn't sure I was going to do an August TBR because there are so many books that I have to read that I didn't really know where to start. Um, then I managed to break them down a little bit more because some of them are like horror stories and I'm saving that for October so I can have like a whole month of horror and it's going to be awesome. Um, but... I have a pile next to me that's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be, um, of books. A lot of them are actually digital, too, so. But anyway, in the month of July, I managed to read six books. These are the six, and I will show you them in order. Which means that one was last. Okay. The first book I read this month is a book that I read a long time ago, like, the first, for the first time. Um, I found it at the library. focuses on the main thing, the very first thing, which was, uh, let's find it a second. So, that was Frozen Fire, and it's got trees, and this guy walking off. By the way, it's by $10. Um, and in this book, a girl named Dusty gets a phone call from a strange boy who's overdosing on pills and drinking. And he's basically saying, I'm dying. And he knows things that he shouldn't know, especially about her brother, Josh. So, at first she's thinking, oh, it's a prank, or oh, it's Josh. Or, you've talked to Josh, what did he tell you? Um, because he's been missing. Her brother has been missing. And her parents and her... Her... Um, she... Have been looking for him. So, basically this whole thing is she's trying to contact this boy and stay in touch with this boy and try to find out as much about her brother as she can from him even though he really doesn't know as much as he she thinks he does because he just knows things. He's a strange boy, nobody knows where he came from. All they know is that there's weird rumors about him going around and he has powers um, that nobody understands so he knows things he shouldn't know. He can create like this really big force that has the potential to kill somebody with just a wave of his hand. And a couple other things that I can't immediately think of. Um, and one of his defining features is he's completely pale. Like his skin is pale, his hair is pale, everything about him is just white, like snow. Um, and when I first read it, I was like, oh, it's really good. And I got it um, from a book outlet for just a couple bucks. And I read it again. And I remembered how good it was, and it was still really good. It wasn't completely what I remembered, but it wasn't bad. I didn't go, oh, how did I like this? I did like it, and I'm really glad that it's back on my bookshelf. Or it's not back on my bookshelf, that I have it for my bookshelf. The next book I read was A Whole New World by Liz Broswell. I like how this shines. You can see it. It looks gold from there, and it... It was yellow with like a shine to it, but it's gold. Um, and this is an Aladdin retelling with a twist. So, you know the story of Aladdin where Aladdin is tricked into going to the Cave of Wonders where he finds a lamp and has the genie, and the genie grants him wishes that ultimately gets him next to Jasmine, the girl that he has feelings for, um, but he can't make him fall in love, so he has to win her over. Um, and the Royal Vizier is a bad guy and ends up stealing the lamp. So in this book, Aladdin didn't get to keep the lamp. It gets up to the part where he's climbing out of the Cave of Wonders after Abu touches the giant ruby thing and like the cave collapses. So he's climbing up and instead of Abu stealing the lamp and he ends up with it down in the cave, Jafar takes it and kind of becomes this all-powerful ruler. And I I know I did a review, I don't think I have a book talk for it. I guess if I do, I'll put it down below. If not, then... I don't know. I, I thought I recorded one, but the more I think about it, the more I'm not entirely sure. Um, then I read, reread the Penrin and the End of Days series by Susan E., which is one of my favorites. It's probably like five or six on my list, but it's still a totally awesome series. And after all the stuff that's been going on, I really needed kind of a familiar 
friend that I really enjoyed, and it was kind of interesting because as I'm updating my um, reading thing, I realized that I read these books pretty much the same exact time last year. So I thought that was weird, but they're awesome. If you haven't read this series, you should. This is a series that starts with Angel Fall and the world after. condo in search of a safer place to be when angels come out of the sky and land and one of them gets his wings chopped off and her sister is kidnapped by one of the other ones kind of in revenge for her helping out the wingless angel um so throughout the first book she's befriending this angel his name is Rafi and she's trying to get him to take her to the angel headquarters so she can get her sister trying to get the angels to leave and go back and throughout the series you kind of realize that the angels don't know what they're doing there. They were just sent there and the only person, his name is the messenger, and that was Gabriel, they were the only person or the only angel that could talk to God. And they even started saying that God hadn't talked to Gabriel in so long, Gabriel kind of went nuts and kind of just did things on his own. So that's pretty much what the series is about. Is Penryn and Rafi and their allies trying to get the angels to leave and figure out what exactly they were doing there, why they brought upon the apocalypse, and you fully realize that not everything is what they thought it was. So, interesting. I really like it. I tried to tell my mom to read it, and she's like, uh, it gives a bad vibe to the Catholic faith. And I was like, I honestly don't even associate it with religion because it's a fantasy story, or it's a science fiction post-apocalypse story. And I can see where people can be like, oh, it's frowned upon the Christian church, or whatever, Christianity. I'm like, eh. I mean, the angels are Catholic or Christian or whatever. You know, they're from the Bible. But, it just, to me, it's just fiction. So, I don't really think it's, there's not a lot of truth to it. Obviously, so I don't put much stock in that, but mom does, so she's not reading it, but it's awesome and I do recommend it. Um, the last thing, and I kind of read it in the middle of Penrin in the End of Days because I was reading it on my way home from Montana visiting Kira, and I found this at the bookstore and had to get it, and it's the Harley Quinn graphic novel volume one of Hot in the City. she considered a super villain? I think she's super. That was really lame. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I guess it's because she was blonde and smart and kind of crazy but in a really entertaining way and um, dressed awesomely and kind of from what I noticed based on things that I had seen is she didn't really tell like let anybody tell her pretty true to herself, so I would guess that's maybe what it was, but I really like Harley Quinn, and I'm so glad I have a graphic novel and got to take another peek at, or a bigger peek into her world, and the art's really pretty. It was really interesting at the start of this one, because it took a whole bunch of different people and had them write out just like a page in the different styles they have. Harley into different things. So let's see. There was Becky Coolen, Tony Daniel, Stephanie Rowe,
people I can see movies with are my parents, my brother, and yeah. So. My Kindle's just turned. Oh, my Kindle's updating. Great. Look, the Zen's updating. You're not supposed to update when I'm doing a video, Kindle. Okay, so without my Kindle for right now. but show you the TBR books I have that are on my phone. But this is the pile of TBR books. So I have Lightning Thief, which I'm actually kind of leaning toward because I heard they're good and I kind of want something with a lot of quirky characters, and I know that's what that has, and a lot of people are into it. And I have a half-blood bracelet that I got from an owl crate that I have no business owning yet because I haven't read the series yet. But, so, Lightning Thief, Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, Sabriel by Garth Nix, Dumpland by Julie Murphy, Bloodline Rising, by Kathy Moran, The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, Splintered by A.J. Howard, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michael Hod- Michelle, sorry, Michelle Hodkin. I looked at it really fast, that's why. Brandon Sanderson, Mistborn. Darker Shade of Magic, the Ishwa, which I'm not sure I'm ready to read yet. I don't want, like, the Savage Song and A Darker Shade of Magic to be compared in my brain because they're different stories, and different stories can come out differently even if it's the same author. Like, for example, The Darkest Minds is completely different from Passenger, and they're by the same person, Alexander Brett. So, I don't want to compare them yet. And then Half Bad by Sally Green. Those are just the physical books that I have. I also have the sequels to books that I've already read. Like, I still haven't read Eyes Like Fire, but I'm kind of waiting for the next one to come out and then I'll like read all three together. Um, I also have. Rose and the Dagger, the second book in the Wrath of the Dawn series. I also have Last Sword that I haven't read yet. So there's, a, and I also have the Raven King. But when it comes to series, especially series of books that I haven't read in a while, I like to read them all at once so the whole story is fresh in my brain. Because the last time that I tried to just read something, I couldn't remember enough of what happened in the book before that I was like completely lost at some point. So I was like, okay, can't do this anymore. Once again, my makeup. So I have Queen of the Tearling, 
which I totally forgot about. Break, uh, already read Breaking the Sky. The last time we say goodbye, Princess saves herself in this one, which I do need to read, um, because it's a poetry book. I may read that first, because I don't think it's going to be that long. And reboot, The Eighth Guardian, Paper Town. Reboot, Mechanica. I should probably read Eleanor and Park. I'm like slowly figuring out what I should read, but I do need my nook back from Jordan. Anyway, um, Don't You Forget About Me, The End Game, White Rabbit Chronicles, and Maconia. Oh, and all the right, all the right places. Cruel Beauty, Assassin's Curse, Dorothy Must Die, Senator's Daughter. That's all I have. read the first couple things of, like, they're the first in a series or something like that. So, yeah, you see my dilemma yet? Um, but I will see you guys. That is my video. Um, if you have a vote for something that I should read, I know if Sophie, Sophia, sees this, she's probably going to be like, are you calling Kingdoms? Because she does almost every time, and I'm like, I haven't called me yet. wanting to read um, uh, The Princess Tears Herself in this one because I really adore Amanda Lovelace or Amanda who is Lady Bookman on Tumblr. I have gone to her with like different issues and writing and like relationships and stuff like that um, and she's been very helpful and she's super nice and really knows how to be herself, even though she gets quite a bit of a non-hate over her poetry for some reason. Knock it off, Anons. She's fantastic, and you have no reason to dislike her, to be totally honest. And I think I saw somebody even was like, I love Lady Book Mad, and I'm like, why? And I don't even remember, oh, I remember the answer, it was because she blocked them. I was like, that's not a reason to hate somebody. And how do you even know? I don't know. But anyway, now my video is actually over. And I will see you guys. I will try to put more videos up more often. I've just been busy the past couple weeks. And I've also read things that I've already read. And actually pretty sure I have videos for. Maybe I should. Um, so that's why there haven't been more of those. There haven't been that many tag videos either. I also haven't done the Top 5 Wednesday videos um, because a lot of the topics I don't have enough books for or I don't really know what to apply to them, stuff like that. They're, they're very much for people with larger libraries than mine. So, anyway, I'm sorry I keep saying I'm going to end the video and then I keep talking. I am done now. I promise. Happy reading.